Well, first the weekend, uh, I felt like we're, and, and tonight, we're streaky. You know, we start playing really, really, really well, and then all of a sudden we stop uh, and let teams get back into the game. I mean, Alvernia was matching us point for point in that first set tonight. It was 10 to 10. Then we go on an 11-point run. Uh, and make absolutely no mistakes. And most of those were kills. It was not so many Avernia's errors as much as we were passing the ball well, good first contacts, and Michaela Thompson was our setter at that point, and she was putting it right where it needed to be. And that's probably the key to our offense is that we had probably four or five or six people that had really good nights tonight. Yeah, because not everybody's going to have their best night every night, Joe. Uh, like tonight, Molly and Julia played really well and you know hit for a really high percentage. Those are two of our, our pins that are freshmen. Uh, Riley had a nice night. Shannon had a nice night. Sarah had a nice night. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, we, we had pretty good nights from everybody. Um, we talked about um, consistency from our setting. I think our setting is really good, but it, it can be more consistent as far as in the spot that we want it. Um, it's not always going to be there running all around the court, but if we pass and things are settled, the ball ought to be there. And so that's one of the things we're working towards. Well, I think we're going to find that out at Mary Washington on Friday. You know, Cabrini gave us a lot to work on. We really, against Cabrini in the middle of that game, we changed our lineup to a lineup we hadn't played all year. And so a lot of time it's dictated by the skill level of the other team and the way they're setting up the matchups blocking-wise that we want. But um, we trained to something, you know, a lineup against Cabrini, the third and fourth set that I was pretty pleased with, and that's kind of what we started with tonight.